now introduce dynamic learning. For a model free reinforcement learning method, because of the environment is unknown. So for action selected by an agent, an agent doesn't know how to move from a state S to next state S prime. To do so, here we introduce a dynamic learning to introduce how an agent by exploring his environment to build a model system. Let's just say uh, we have uh, we have we uh, uh, at an uh, agent at a state S, and using the using the Epsilon greedy method, select action A, and then now we have this uh, uh, Q value at a state S uh, for the selected state uh, action A. Since uh, we uh, don't know the system model, that means the uh, environment is unknown. So we don't know what's the uh, next state. So for given action at a state S, we have to try all the uh, possibilities. That means we try different uh, next states by uh, try select a different uh, uh, action, make this uh, uh, Q value at the S prime and uh, using action as a prime, make this a maximum. By uh, uh, exploring this uh, environment, we found for given A at S, what's the uh, reward we receive, what's the next state, then uh, we can use it to create a system model. Let's say the first part from A to D, this is selected a state, uh, give us a state, select a action using absolute greedy method. And then now we take this action and we uh, receive this reward and we reach next uh, state. By this, uh, use this Q value uh, equation to Evaluate this as uh, the data is a is a is a uh, better one or not. Okay, once we know uh, this R and S prime is what we need, then now we can based on this information to uh, create a system model. That means we generate uh, we create a, a, a state transition probability. That means how from move from uh, uh, state S, select uh, action A, we receive this uh, reward and the next, we move to the next state. Once we have this model, then we can use the model based on reinforcement learning. Uh, select S, uh, give, uh, select S under uh, A, then uh, from uh, the model we created, and then we know how much reward we receive and uh, what's the next state, then we can uh, find the uh, uh, policy to make this uh, uh, Q value maximum. Now we are uh, this uh, uh, step, so we have a three parts. The first part is regular Q learning. Uh, you may ask why uh, we have this Q learning. We already have this Q value. Why we need to recalculate the Q value again? Because right now, this part, we use Q as the uh, exploration method. That means we need to try different S prime to find the good model. Uh, some uh, because we try many times by it, it, our experience, then we find the we find the better or find the good S prime. And then uh, we generate this model. This part once we have the model, we can uh, uh, we can. Uh, a value Q uh, value for given uh, state and uh, selected uh, action. That means uh, even, uh, for example, give a new case, a new uh, state S and a new action. 
uh, we can use this model to evaluate the, to learn uh, this Q value. This Q uh, learning just uses as uh, exploration. This uh, create a model and this for the model we need because uh, we can use a model based on read for the learning to learn a Q value. Uh, for more details, please check with this reference. Thank you.